the United Nations mission in Nigeria in conjunction with Borno, Adamawa, and Yobe state governments will launch $1 billion for the 2021 humanitarian response plan for the Northeast victims of Boko Haram. The United Nations mission said on Wednesday that the mission would be hosting the three state governors to launch the $1 billion 2021 fund next Tuesday. In a statement, the United Nations noted that the humanitarian situation in the northeastern Nigeria had worsened over the past two years and 8.7 million people were severely vulnerable, compounded by the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The United Nations mission said the government of Nigeria, the United Nations, and partners will jointly launch the 2021 Humanitarian Response Plan for Northeastern Nigeria. The Humanitarian Response Plan represents a collective vision for humanitarian action in 2021. The appeal is approximately $1 billion and targets the 6.5 million most vulnerable people in Borno, Adamawa, and Yobe states who are facing growing needs due to the ongoing violence and the social economic fallout of the COVID-19 pandemic. The plan is based on assessed needs and the realistic capacity of the United Nations and non-governmental organization partners to implement required actions. The, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Minister Disaster Management and Social Development, Sadia Umar Farouk, the Borno State Governor, Professor Babagana Zulum, the Yobe State Governor, Bala Muni, and the Adamawa State Governor, Amadou Fintiri. Others are the United Nations Resident and Humanitarian Coordinator, Edward Callon, and donor representatives. In 2020, the humanitarian community delivered life-saving assistance to over 5 million people. The humanitarian response has contributed to alleviating the suffering of the most vulnerable people. Despite a significant scale-up of the humanitarian response by the United Nations and humanitarian partners since 2016, in support of the government of Nigeria. The humanitarian crisis in Nigeria remains one of the most acute in the world today. The humanitarian situation in the northeastern part of Nigeria has worsened over the past two years, and 8.7 million people are severely vulnerable, compounded by the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The United Nations says that the northeastern part of Nigeria humanitarian crisis is one of the worst in the world. Well, it is what it is, guys. What do you think? Of course, it is one of the world's worst because of the way things are going on in the country and because of how things are happening in the country. What do you expect? One would expect that a country where in a situation whereby the government does not in any way um, care about the people and their activities and all that they do, the security of the people in the north is the worst anywhere in the world. It shows that there is serious chaos and there is need for serious concern. The people in the northeastern part of the country does not seem to uh, experience or have any coordination or expectations from the government. They are left alone. And despite the fact that the government feels or thinks that they provide enough security, there are constant attacks which happen over and over again. Despite the uh, international organizations um, or international communities assistance or rescue, to a very large extent, they have continued to be consistent attacks. 
even the international community are also being attacked, which is to a very large extent unfortunate. The question now is, the people who are in government and the government of the state does not even seem to want this particular situation to come to an end. As to a very large extent, some of them see it as a money spinning business. So in this case and situation, what do you do? So guys, you can see that the situation in the North will continue to get worse and worse and worse because the people in government today, the, the leaders in government today are not in any way ready to allow these things to come to an end. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but that is what I feel and that is the way things actually seem. Insecurity in the northeastern part of the country has continued. Look at the kidnapping and abduction of students in the northern part of the country. Who are responsible? The repentant bandits had, you know, also came out to say that the governments are the ones who are sharing these arms and their weapons to them. So, to a very large extent, there is serious cause for worry. They have devised this particular uh, issue and means as a business. It is business for them, and they continue to carry out this particular as business. So they don't want this to come to an end, and it is really, really sad and unfortunate. So the situation in the North will continue to be like this. And in a situation whereby the international community, the United Nations are all raising alarm, then you see that there is going to be continuous attack. The government of Nigeria would not even pay attention because all they want is what they are getting from the government. All they care about is what is falling in, the money, the aids that the government is and the international community are bringing to the nation. And they do not know or probably they are unaware or they have forgotten that this aids, if they continue to come, it continues to spell doom for the country. But they don't care because they have interest and they want to continue to collect this particular um, aid and um, profit from it. It is sad and unfortunate. Well, it is what it is, guys. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. I'll drop by at the comment section let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Don't forget to share these new stories with your friends family relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys. I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.